Bro, interesting character swap. Definitely something that he will feel the most comfortable with. And I think it comes down to the Celestial Shields. I know that's not your name, but I love to call it that. Uh, Pete's, Pitt's Reflector will be pivotal in returning Zelda's Phantom's favor as he tries to go in for the insane damage. Pitt will just down be reflected and uh, it will be a game of who avoids the Phantom better. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. I mean, uh, Gayo is actually normally a pit main, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But uh, yes. we'll definitely, we'll definitely see how they're able to make this all work. I think you're absolutely right. The, uh, what is it? the orbital, I forget what they're called. Orbital something. The down special is definitely going to be yeah. coming into play here a little bit, there like that go. right there. That's a huge mm -hmm. situation. We're going to see how Ven's going to find their way around it. Yeah, and, and, and Ven definitely needs to be ready for that move because he's going to be very careful. Gets the fire. Oh, there's win. Perfectly placed. You love to see that. I love to see that. You, If you say that Zelda is annoying because it's online, it's online, you clearly haven't seen enough of those Farores wins confirms. They're just insane. They're so flashy. They're so good. And you never expect them. And as an audience, as someone who's enjoying the tournament, you absolutely have to adore the way that they confirm into kills like that. It's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, they tried getting the lightning kick out of shield. That's actually a very potent option for Zelda. If you are being way too aggressive on their shield, they just jump right out. Lightning kick, all of a sudden your stock's gone. And then you just kind of figure out, well, I can't fight them from far. I can't fight them close. What am I supposed to do? And honestly, I know sometimes I wish I had the answer, man. Some of these Zeldas are just absolutely insane. Yeah, they're very unpredictable. The way they play, it's either very campy, very methodical, or they can be hyper-aggressive. I think Ven oh, yeah. has a good combination of both, but that side is going to take the stock finally with that huge present, <laughs> but that back here is going to take you back. Ven taking a lead, a full stock of a lead just ridiculously early, and now Pursuyu has to step it up if he wants to bring it back. I think he's very well uh, acquainted for it. He's ready for that because already 50%, he's, he's going places, but he needs to keep that aggression up. For sure. Look, I, I I do not like fighting Zeldas, right? But Lightning Kick 100% is one of the most satisfying moves to land when you get the sweet spot. <laughs> it just feels good. It makes a nice sound. The opponent dies pretty much 99% of the time. It, it's beautiful. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. I want more. Yeah, I think this matchup is really good in regards uh, with Pit, uh, the way he reflects Phantom, because it doesn't allow Zelda, it doesn't allow Ben in this case, to be comfortable or sit comfortable behind the Phantom, breaking the Guardian Orbiters. It's really good, but the backer confirmed almost getting the stock. Let's see if he can get the arrow. No, instead, Nadu's love protecting the Princess of Destiny, trying to put extra damage, breaking it again. It's really good to avoid confirms and massive damage is still going oh. to land that fight. Oh. Win, but that beautiful DI allows him to survive a little longer. Yeah, no, I honestly, well played. I, I thought the game was over after they landed the uh, the teleport, but no, uh, that was just some really great DI. But you got to be careful if they did not have the shield. Oh, that's it. That's what I'm saying. Yep. You got yeah. too aggressive with those side Bs. You got to dial those back just a little bit. You don't want to be pushing that too far because that's when you get to a situation like that. Ben will 100% get the strong punish on that every damn time time but hey you know what great stuff all together um i mean hey ven doing ven things <laughs> and doing them right it's something that uh the, the, I, that's what i mentioned the the, the the reflector that pit has is can be really good in a lot of upper in a lot of uh situations however the play ven play zelda doesn't allow you to see the to see comfortable with those reflectors, with those shields, because he can break them, and he's always going for the aggressive options. We we saw those uh, up airs breaking the reflector and being able to confirm out of these, and with, especially with a phantom just lurking behind you, ready to catch you. You have to be very careful of how you land, and that's something that Ben is taking advantage, or at least he did in this game. None, uh, game number one. So uh, let's see if he can keep this momentum or is or if pursue you is going to change something in his playstyle. Yeah, we'll have to see exactly what comes out of here. I mean, uh, you can't count out Gale because again, like they, they know, oh, you might need to count him out a little bit. Maybe I don't know. But no, uh, in all honesty, you can't count them out. They're a strong player. We saw what they were just capable of doing uh, um, to Hedgy not too long ago. And honestly, just going, getting third place at an MSM online. I mean, that definitely shows that you know what you're doing. It shows that you're a strong player. But uh, we're going to see if they can find a way to turn this around on Ven. Because, yeah, at game one in a best of five, you can use that for a lot of data. Try to find some sort of adaptations. But the problem with that is that your opponent's going to be adapting too. 
and your opponent is one of the strongest players that enters MSMs on a fairly consistent basis. So, I mean, hey, best of luck to you, but we'll see what happens. As I mentioned, Ben was the the victor of MSM 58, the the previous one previous week. So he's been very consistent overall. Now uh, Pursue is trying to change this, uh, trying to change the outcome, and with this stock and with that uh, that pivot dancing, it's it's definitely showing that he feels comfortable, confident enough. So it it might come to neutral, it might come to a little bit of uh, adaptation, and I think it's coming up perfect. I would love to see uh, a little bit of. Uh, changes here but i think he's doing pretty well overall the way that he's placing every single option is just perfect to extend the damage even further mm -hmm. yeah, i mean we'll have to see how ven's gonna be able to answer back here because right now it looks like Gao's answering after that game one very very strongly oh that could have been a whole nother oh, actually not a stock no 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 it's it's not that strong but it, ooh. all right should maybe hold those shields just a little bit longer jeez yeah, and the percentage is still very comfortable for Pursuyu. He's putting the aggression at all times. He's not letting Ven feel comfortable at any moment, really. And he's catching every single option. And even though Ven is slowly picking it up, it's still not looking pretty for him. The, the, the option he's taking, he's taking are good, but uh, the pressure is, I would like to say, not enough to uh, either get a good confirm or something that takes the stock again it's very early in the stock however pursue is getting even closer with that percent but that backer is going to deal massive amounts of damage mm -hmm. okay there we go not gonna go for anything crazy but definitely put a little bit of pressure on the shield and decide to back up probably the smart option you don't want to deal with zelda you know trying to get some counterplay oh no gonna close out that stock very unfortunate situation for Gao as ven continues to just be a monster looks like they're starting to find their pace after realizing the adaptations that Gao has been making and now they're on the cusp of potentially taking uh, a two-game lead here unless we can see something switch up wow got the grab and then the throw immediately so the reflector's not gonna do anything yeah good conditioning there from then uh pretty much blocking every single option pursue you had it's really good the way he's playing and uh, yeah oh yeah he was fishing for that he was really smart in placing his leg exactly where it needed to be to get the confirmed stock then getting game number two putting even w wait uh what happened there i think wait who won the first one was it ben or it was ben pursue it was ben yeah it just okay, so it's it, a it was ben, yeah. okay yeah. yeah it's yeah. a 2-0 yeah it's yeah, just uh again, just, just a little bit behind, just trying to make sure the, the score's all correct, but we're all good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really good overall from Ben there. Um, he was he, he, He's feeling very comfortable overall. You can see it in his movement. You can see it in his options. And uh, I didn't see a lot of Phantom. I think it was just placed for a bit of conditioning, but it was definitely not the centerpiece of Ben's uh, strategy. And this is something that a lot of players are very used to. Like, okay, well, it's Zelda. I'm going to play around the Phantom. But instead, Ven was smart enough to not use it as its main tool. Rather, an option that made recovery or picking an option a little bit more uncomfortable for pursue you and with this two game lead it's definitely looking really good for Ven's uh side yeah. right now oh for sure man yeah Ven's absolutely killing it here uh even though we saw Gao kind of answer really strong at the beginning of that game too uh it just wasn't enough as Ven was able to find their own adaptations mid game and right now look at this like normally you see uh zelda's kind of you know bob and weave around trying to find their openings trying to force the opponent to chase him down but ben is the aggressor here half the time look at this just forcing gale to take these crazy defensive options as zelda just tries to chase him down to put down more and more damage yeah, catching every single landing, catching every single option. The recoveries are really good, but they're not being enough to do anything. And with that up here, almost getting the stock, adding extra pressure, telling him to get off the ledge because I'm going to reverse the situation. Ven is doing a phenomenal job here at conditioning every single option that Pursue You is deciding to pick. But that side B is going to take the stock. A little bit of an impromptu decision there that Ven was not prepared for. And now he pays the price for it. Ooh, that was crazy. So we actually got the reflect on the phantom and then went up to up smash and it just kind of kept like extended the hitboxes too. That was weird. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's something that sellers do capitalize a lot from taking advantage of the positioning and the extension, the hitbox that the Phantom can provide, and also the protection too. It's really good, good conversion here from Ben, extending all the way from one side of the stage to the other. Not a lot of percentage, but definitely really substantial one that is going to allow that if he manages to confirm a really strong kick, either mm -hmm. forward air or back air, it's going to take a stock surely. Okay, there we go. Trying to go off stage for something. Both players are going to be able to recover. No big deal there, but definitely a strong off stage presence from Ven. Making Gayo feel a little bit nervous. A dash attack to put him off stage. The side B could have got a big punish. Could have closed up the stock, but no. Going to be able to live just a little bit longer here. All right, going to go for the forward throw. Putting Ven off stage. Let's see what the option is. Trying to get the spike and able to get it, but he is going to keep the pressure on all times. Trying to get the spike, the Farore hitting him a little bit, but not quite enough to get the kill. We know that Pit takes a long time to kill, and unless, unless he gets a confirm, the sour spot of that forward here, it's definitely something that he needed. Farore's wind again, protecting his recovery. These competitors are doing their best to try to seal the deal, but they're being unable to do it. And with the Phantom here, is going to take the two frame or the bound, the jump recovery. I'm not sure exactly what it was but definitely unable to do anything out of that burst option i think they actually attempted to drop from ledge and then jump into mm. a down beat knowing that phantom was coming and then ben let that it uh, let it run loose just a little bit earlier to be actually be able to catch him at the ledge so that was actually just really well played but yeah getting into the final stock here for gale and their tournament life uh, could be a tough spot to be in, 140% on Ven. They could find a way to close off the stack very soon, but 42%, and it just keeps getting worse. Oh my god, that would have been gross. Yeah, you cannot let Zelda live this long because she will get you with those insane rage and knockback potential that she has. But again, Pursuyu still trying to live, still trying to do something. Ben is looking very close to consolidating himself as the winners, uh, sorry, losers finals winner. So he might be going to grants, but it depends on whether Pursue allows it or not. Ven catches that, but is not able to take it. Good air touch, avoiding Vin's fire, but that recovery is going to be all the more pressure. Oh, wait down there and he still recovers yeah man that, that's just Gale just knowing what their character's all about it could have been a bad scenario but no and now they actually might be able to close up this game they're going way deep they're trying to make it happen and unfortunately you tried going for it all just to keep yourself alive and in the process you threw it all away but man Ven playing absolutely amazing the whole way through and we take those as Ven